Hi everyone, welcome to Cindy Lou's channel. Ta -da! Today I'm doing my root touch up with my hair and I'm using Garnier Dark Golden Blonde number 73. So what you'll need today is a bucket of, for the hair dye liquid and I use my power painter brush for my hair and then some scissors maybe saran wrap or a hair cap if not a garbage bag um, you know the bags that you get from grocery stores and also the most amazing tool is a garbage bag like the magic of garbage bag do not get dirty at all even when you're dyeing your hair so this is amazing i actually kind of invented this hack by myself because of the fact that i like it clean whenever i dye my hair so you use this I find it very handy. I introduced it to some of my friends and they find it very um, useful. So I figured I'll introduce it to you guys too. We have the unopened area like this. So this can't be this side cannot be open. So what you have to do is get your scissors. On the corner, cut the corner just by a little bit. I'm eyeballing this. <laughs> you do the same thing. And then what you want to put is you want to open up the open part. Take your hands and arms and reach for the four corners. like this and then the other corner your other hand so see the four corners here and then you measure your head and make a hole so just one tiny hole and then you force your head in it <laughs> your clothes. So this is how it looks. So I actually do my hair dye once a month, if not um, every other month. So it depends. It really varies. So I'm going to start by using a sedan mat. on the sink area, the area that I want to cover. The developer, the conditioner, you can use it at another time. And the coloring paper. So you will only be needing A and B. So my painter brush, I use Premier painter brush. And let's start mixing. So now that I have my gloves on, you will be needing my developer color and your color cream and you'll be mixing A and B together. And don't forget your your brush, your power brush. You can use even your brush. Um, just pour the color to the developer. And I'm gonna screw the lid back on. Now 
then I'm gonna pour this into a little bucket. After 15 seconds, you want to pour it in a developer bottle into the container, like so. And then, and then this. So now you will want to side, we do the other side. all this side and all the other side. So stay tuned until I finish this process and then we can go to the next. Okay, I'm doing this other side.
you want an even coat and everything. However, you want to make sure. Yep, so that's how it is. And that part is done. Yep, it's done. So I'm gonna rewrap it. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Um, 
just the routine is that in total I wait 45 minutes but 15 minutes in between I actually um, redo the recoding so and after the coating the remainder of 30 minutes I'll just wait and then rinse off my hair do shampoo I do conditioner and then I just blow dry my hair. Blow drying my hair is very important to set the color. The hair color will not bleed onto your pillow and clothes. So I feel like it's very important to set your hair once you finish dyeing. So that's what I recommend. <laughs> Do I look like a monk? <laughs> So I'll see you when it's all done and blow dried and everything. Ta da! This is the result of the hair color. So I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial for the Garnier Dark Golden Blonde. This is my to go to. It's affordable and i love the color and i've been sticking with this color for over two years now because i love the color so much and this is really my go-to and i hope you guys enjoy the tutorial something i did not mention before is that do not wash your hair the day before you're gonna dye it it doesn't dye well on your roots so I usually don't, I wash my hair the day before, like two days before, and then I dye it. After you dye your hair, do not wash your hair for three days because this will make the hair dye stay on your hair for a longer period of time. I find it lasts longer that way. So that's what I and that's my tips I'm no professional but today I'm actually wearing Luca Couture I love the floral and I'm wearing H&M the light yellow cardigan I really like this pairing actually, but I don't know if um, any place sells this anymore I got this a long time ago um, let me show you what it looks like on the sides, but I really love this floral top of mine. It has opening on the sleeves like this. This is what it looks like. And I wear it with a tank top and a tank top works. I just happen to do a racer then today but usually I wear thinner straps with anything floral but it's low neck I like to wear um, a tank top that it's thinner strap than this but yeah this is how it looks like actually the sleeve is like this as you can tell it's not tight it's nice and fluffy I like fluffy stuff now and I like to pair it up with florals with cardigan like this. I think it's really cute. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy my videos so far. If not, um, check out my other videos and see if you like as well. And let me know what would you like to see next and I'll try to make that happen. Thank you for supporting my channel and I'm happy to see you back. If this is your first time, Welcome to Cindy Lou's channel. And if it's not your first time, thank you for supporting me. And see you next week. Bye.